Hi guys, so this is actually part three on where to begin with Pixify. If you haven't watched part one and two yet, I definitely suggest that you do that. I'm just going down this document right here to basically kind of give you a visual of how to use this document. So in part one, we talked about the email sync settings and settings application, how to format things so that way um, they populate correctly on all the other modules that you're trying to use. Um, and then part two, we talked a little bit about email templates and contracts. So right now I'm continuing on with this contract area right here. Just a few things that I kind of want to revisit from the last video. Um, so we talked a little bit about how to set up a, a new contract and everything like that. And then also I wanted to um, talk a little bit about these variables right here because I didn't really touch base on that in the last video. So when you create your contract, so under contract templates, okay, let's just pop into a contract. So under contract variables, basically this is where you would be able to enter things into your contract so they populate correctly. Uh, so for instance, if you want the bride's name to populate, then you can go under uh, the user area and or the individual area and put the bride's names are first and last if you just want the first name. If you want the bride's phone number to be in here, you just go ahead and go in here and just say you want the phone number to be right here. You go under variable. I just put contact phone number, okay? Um, so basically that will uh, populate that from their client area. So showing you this area is basically gonna make the next part of this document make a little bit more sense. This basically talks a little bit about um, the certain areas in the client area that will can be populated or how they're used in the client area. So what? let me show you, okay? So under your contacts, you can go to clients, okay, and you can add a new client, okay, um, and so this is like some of the things that it's talking about under this area right here. Um, so the first thing it says client categories, you can add clients to as many pre-categories as you want. Um, so this is where the categories are, okay? And you click Manage Categories to add multiple categories. So categories is a perfect way to help you to kind of filter your clients. So uh, if you shoot more than one thing, so for instance, you do maternity plus you do babies. Um, so you can add a client for maternity and you can add a client for babies and say you can do a different years too, like 2005, 2016, 2014 or whatever. Um, and that way, when you go through and add these categories and you click on them, uh, later on you can actually filter by you know if they were only maternity and they were may say they you only wanted to see 2015 maternity sessions uh, so that way it makes it kind of easy for you to go through and uh, pull reports or however you want or you need uh, or maybe at the end of the year you just kind of want to see I did this many maternity sessions maybe I should start advertising more maternity because you booked a lot of maternity I don't know I don't know how you want to use it but it could be used for several different things okay Roles. You can assign client roles when you add them as a client, okay? So when you add them as a client, there are certain roles you can give them. So you can go and manage roles, whatever roles you want. So you can do bride, groom, father, mother. Most of the, your clients are going to be bride and groom. Maybe if you want to add a role and put mom and dad or something like that. So the first client will be the mother of the child that you're shooting, something like that. Um, and then you could have up to four contacts. So if you want to add the contacts, say you have a bride and groom, you want to add their mom and dad, you can add, assign the roles here for them. So that way, uh, anybody that is looking uh, at at the clients, like for instance, if you have an employee, they would know right away that this is the bride, this is the groom, okay? Okay, so under the client module, there's also special dates. So uh, you can put down their their anniversary, their birthday. This is a great way for you to be able to send your clients gifts on certain days, especially their birthday, you know, something that maybe not a lot of people know about. Uh, so date of first contact too. That's I use that often because I kind of like to see when they contacted me and how long, how far after they contacted me they actually booked. Um, that's very helpful information. Okay, leads. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save the leads and the events area for the next video. So make sure you tune into video number four um, to kind of go over 
this area right here. As always, make sure you subscribe to this channel to keep more Pixify tips and tricks. I will talk to you next time. Bye!